Okay, well welcome back to the video. If, if you are uh, at a point where you did not look at the very first video in this series, um, I would highly recommend taking a look at that first before we get started because I gave you some information that you're going to need um, in order to get set up to do what it is that we are going to be trying to do today. For those of you returning, welcome back again. Let's go ahead and get started. One of the things that I want to do in, in the okay in the last video we, we went through and we actually cleared off our hard drive our external hard drive and our SD card okay I want to point something out to you if you go and check where your SD card is at um, and for me it'll be a sudo and I like to use F disk if I spell it right dash L and if you look through here it'll show you all your different devices now because you wiped it clean, it is listed if it's seen right here. And how do you know that's the right one? Just check your file sizes. You know what I mean? 7, 78, 84 um, megabytes. That's about what I had um, as far as the size of my SD card. So I know that this is my SD card. Okay? It doesn't give you an SD um Part SD, like for this it would be SDC with a partition number because remember we don't have any partitions made. It's a blank um, space. It's just all blank space on there. Um, but this is definitely something you want to check. You want to make sure that you know what that is before we get started. Because what we're going to do now is we're, we're going to copy the image file that we, uh, that we downloaded and unzipped the image file for Arch Linux and I believe it's Arch Linux ARM um, is what it's called. But what we're the first thing we're going to do, let me go ahead and clear the screen so you can clearly see what we're doing here. Um, I want to change my directory, and I want to go to the directory, whatever the folder is that I have that saved in, I want to navigate to that. And I'm going to go ahead and start with root, home, mine is saved at Bahamut, and then I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was Arch RPI. But, look, you know, we'll go here first, do an LS to see, as you see, we actually changed to um, the directory that I sent it to. Um, it's right there, yeah, right here, Arch RPI, that's where I've got it saved. So I'm going to change directory to Arch, oops, Arch RPI, and if I list what's in here again with the LS command, it'll show that here's my image file. Okay, this is where I want to be. I want to make sure that I'm in the directory that has my image file. And for no other reason than it's going to make life a little bit easier when you're using the DD command um, because it's uh, if, if you're anywhere else, man, you got to type everything out. And it's a real pain. Uh, this is a little bit faster, I think. So let me go ahead and clear this out. Now let's go ahead and get started. Well, I know that we just looked at that a little bit ago and the address for my SD card is listed as dev slash SDA or SD rather SDC right um, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to copy that go ahead and show you that that file that image file over to it now this does a direct copy it'll copy block for block so this is another reason why you want to make sure that you are uh, doing this exactly right so the DD command is a very powerful command so it does require permission first so you want to do a sudo okay uh, the command is very very simple to understand how it works it starts off with DD then you're going to define the input file and the input file is that arch Linux file right there it is input file arch Linux dash HF dash 2013 dash 07 dash 22.img now depending on when you're doing this this is the this is the most current one that I have um, for the at the time I'm doing this video so yours might actually have different numbers or whatever but um, what, whatever it is that you downloaded um, and extracted that is the image file you want to use okay so we've defined the image file now we're going to define the output file which is OF See, image file is IF, output file is OF. Makes sense. But instead of actually putting it to a file, I'm going to send it to my SDC, my SD card. 
which of course, if you remember, was slash dev slash SDC. Remember, I'm not putting any kind of partition number in there because I'm going to write the entire, essentially, the entire card. It's got it's going to put in the partition information. So this is how you want to do it. We're going to do it the same way with the hard drive, okay? When we when we do the external hard drive, but make sure again, double check, triple check, quadruple check if you have to, that that information is correct when you use especially especially this program or this this script. All right. This like I said, this command is very powerful. You can wipe out an entire drive if you don't do it right. Because again, it will rewrite the partitions. So we've gone here. If you remember looking at the in installation instructions, it gave a BS command. Okay, that is for block size. Now it said on there to use block size one. And while I have seen, like I know on the Raspbian install, they they tell you to go ahead and use four. You could probably get away with using four meg, which is you know the the it would be four capital M for the block or for the block size. Um, I'm a firm believer, and because it takes so long to write it um, to the SD card, the SD card has a slow access rate, which is why I'm installing the operating system on a hard drive. But because it's so slow, you know, I would much rather slow it down and give it ample time to do it so that there's no chance or there's a much lesser chance of error. So this is really all you need. Some people will say you should go ahead and sync. Um, I don't bother doing that. This is all you really need. I'm going to go ahead go ahead now. I'm going to double check it, make sure everything is right. Everything looks right. Doesn't look like I made any typos or anything like that. Everything's pointed in the right place. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. There. It's going to hit me for my password. And once you hit enter, you enter your password and you hit enter, all you're going to get is you're going to get this little, the, the, your, your cursor just sitting there. Okay? But I can look over at my SD card reader right now and see the little LED flashing. So it is doing. It, it is doing the process. Um, I know that this takes about 500 seconds <laughs> in order to write over to the SD card. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pause the video and uh, come back when it's done. Oops.